I should mention, maybe this is a good moment to mention, when I traveled to Ukraine, this is after the start of the war, I you mentioned farmer's market, which is funny. Basically, every single person I talked to, uh, including the leadership, we spoke in Russian. For many of them, Russian is the more comfortable language even. Uh, and the people who spoke Ukrainian are more on the west's, uh, western side of Ukraine. And, you know, young people that are kind of want to show that um, in an activist way that they want to fight for the independence of their country. So I take your point. I wonder if you want to comment about language and maybe about the future of language in Ukraine. Is is the future of language going to st stabilize on Ukrainian or is it going to return to its traditional base of Russian language? Very roughly, before the start of the war in 2014, we can talk about parity between Russian and Ukrainian and also with, as you said, clearly Ukraine being a dominant language in the West and Russian being being a dominant language uh, on the streets, certainly in the in the east of the country, um, and uh, then in between of that, to pause a number of these transitional areas and um, Ukraine, uh, in my experience, and I. I visited a lot of countries, not all of them, and probably maybe maybe I will be still surprised, but in my experience, this is the only truly bilingual country that I ever visited. I lived in Canada for a long period of time. There is Quebec and the rest and mm. and 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 um in ukraine you you can talk in either Russian or Ukrainian in any part of the of the country, and you would be understood, and you would be um, responded in in a different language with the expectation that you would would understand. And if you if you don't understand, that means you don't come from Ukraine. That's the reality. The war and loss of the Crimea and uh, partial loss of Donbas, if it's ma major ma major industrial industrial areas, really shifted the balance toward uh, mostly Ukrainian speaking. Uh, re reasons, uh, regions, and um, also uh, what you see, and you, you, you clearly pointed to that, starting with 2014, even a little bit earlier, the younger generation chooses chooses Ukrainian as as a marker of its identity. And that started in 2014, but we, we, we have a dramatic, dramatic shift after 2022. And on the mm, mm, anecdotal anecdotal level, I can tell you that I, I will speak to people who uh, be in 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 Chernihiv at the time. This is uh, east of, of Crimea at the time of of the Russian aggression and bombardment and so on and so forth. Who had passive knowledge of Ukrainian but spoke all their all their life Russian. And they would speak Ukrainian to me, and uh, when I say, "Okay, why are you doing that?" We we know each other for for decades, and you used Russian. And he said, "Well, I don't want to have anything in common with people who did that to us." So there is the, the there is a big big push, of course, with this with this current war. Now the question is whether this change is is something that will stay or not. What is what is the future? Linguistic practices are very very conservative ones. And uh, we at the Harvard Ukrainian Research Institute have a mm, mm, project called MAPA Digital Atlas of Ukraine, and we were um, documenting and mapping uh, different data in time. And what we noticed a spike in the people's self-reporting of use of Ukrainian in 2014 and 2015 at the time of the start of the war when the, 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 the threat was the most clear one. Uh, this is self-reporting. That doesn't mean that people exactly do what what, the, what the, but they believe that that's what that they are supposed to do, and then return back to to where it was by the year twenty sixteen and twenty seventeen. So this the, the, this dynamic can can repeat itself, but given given the, the how long the war is going on, how big the impact, how big the stresses, and that the, the the way the wave of the future 
is probably associated with younger people who are switching to Ukraine. And so I would, I would, uh, uh, my bet would be on, on, on uh, Ukrainian language rising in prominence.